Hey. Oh, what hey, are you, Bryn. What are you doing? Okay, Bryn. So they say it's impossible to lick your elbow. Mm -hmm. I've been trying all day, and I feel like it is kind of impossible. Oh, I don't know. Can you guys try it at home? Can you lick your elbow? Hmm, it's really hard, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Well, let me see here. Oh, I did it! I did the impossible! I licked my elbow! Good job. Thanks. So today we're talking about the impossible things that God can do. And Brian, I don't know if you've ever witnessed something impossible. Do you have any examples of God doing something impossible in your life? I can't think of any right now. Do you have any? I know that there's stories that I've heard and witnessed of times where people were really sick. And you might know people too, and they were healed. Um, there's definitely times in the Bible, especially if you're younger and you haven't seen that, there's so many examples of God doing impossible things, especially, how about Christmas? Mm -hmm. And the impossible thing that he gave Mary a son. And we're gonna talk about that today. So if you have your Bibles, I want you to open it up to the book of Luke, chapter one, and we're gonna start at verse 26. Are you ready, Bryn? Yep. Okay, here we go. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pleaded to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went and told her and said, Greetings, you are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son. You are to call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. How amazing is that? Very. So we're gonna just jump right into our take home because I think it's super important today. What we want you to do is if you have a piece of paper, you have some markers, or even if your parents want to print some really cool emojis out, you can even put them on. We are going to go over what it would be like if you were Mary and you heard from an angel. First of all, so Bryn, let's talk about number one. Just Mary seeing an angel, what would your emoji be? <gasps> right? Yeah. I know, if you saw an angel, wouldn't you be like, whoa, it's so cool. All right, number two, the angel tells Mary that she's going to have a baby. Uh-oh, you know that emoji where we're kind of like, I don't know about this. That's definitely the emoji or the face that Bryn made, but you can totally draw something different. And number three, the angel told Mary that she was going to give birth to the Son of God, and that deserves some major praise hands. That's right. And so these are just three examples of what you can do when you're walking through the story. Parents, as your kids are reading that story today um, and you're talking about the impossible, this is definitely one of those stories where you know God is doing something impossible. And you can explain a little bit more to the kids why, why it means so much and why it's kind of impossible. Um, and so it's important that parents read along with kids today. So we're gonna go over our memory verse. This is week three of it, so we think you're getting really good. Bryn, are you getting good at it? I think so. Have you been practicing? I have been. Okay, here we go. But as for me, I watch in hope for the Lord. I wait for God, my Savior. My God will hear me. Micah 7:7. 7, 7. Great job, that's so good. And we have one more week to go of our memory verse. A 
another thing we want to leave you with is our big idea. Yay. Bryn, what is our big idea today? Our big idea is wait and see. God can do impossible things. For sure. And so whatever you're praying for this week, or if you know someone who might be sick, um, who needs some prayer, or might even know Jesus and you think, that person might not ever come to church, we challenge you to pray for them because you know that our God can do impossible things. We love you guys so much. We can't wait to see you next week.